the politics a little bit. We know that some niggas that play the game, they last a little longer. Yeah. Uh, niggas that, that want to go against the grain, yeah. we dubbing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this is how I feel about politics. Politics is real in sports, right? I'm not going to sit here and say it ain't real. It is real. But making that as an excuse is corny to me. Mm. So I, Making that excuse of why you didn't make it and why you didn't last is some bullshit. So talk some to, super bullshit. Talk to me about what, what I feel like is a real thing of like being... Because I was a nigga who didn't have the politics on his side and made it. Okay. So, so if you blaming politics on your whole career, why you didn't make it, that's some bullshit. So talk to me about, I feel like you in the league, you in the business. It is sometimes, it's sometimes where you got to bite your tongue. How do you separate biting your tongue from standing on something and being a real nigga? Because I think that could be a real thing. That's what I do. How do I ain't how, kissing how nobody with... ass. But you don't got to be a damn idiot either. Like, <laughs> my whole thing is I always tell somebody, right, just because I feel a way about something don't mean I always got to broadcast it. Mm. That kind of make you a clown. If you think every time I'm model on here, right? If this shit ain't about me, if it ain't about you, it ain't about somebody I love, somebody I with, I ain't got to speak on it publicly. The fuck I, it ain't my business. That's some girl shit, getting in somebody's business. You don't have to always speak on every situation for what? It ain't affecting you. It ain't affecting your family. It ain't affecting your money. So why I got to speak on it? So what about in a sense of it, it being for a bigger purpose? Hypothetically, let's say Colin Kaepernick. It was for a bigger All purpose. All I'm saying is, whatever you speak on, be ready to come, whatever, come, whatever consequences come with that, be ready to stand on it. Mm. That's, that's what I'm saying. And that's anything in life. I ain't even talking about no sport. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, my whole thing is, I ain't kissing nobody ass. I never been anybody to tell you that I do things in my way. But I don't always have to speak on something. I ain't got to get on Twitter and say this. I ain't got to get on Instagram and say that. For what? It ain't got shit to do with me. Now, if it's a great cause, yeah, if, and, and, and I feel strongly about that, I did my research on that, that's how I really feel about that, I stand on it. But I'm not standing on something to be cool for the moment. Or just to say, hey, this some cool shit, let's get on it. Because if you're only riding away for a moment, eventually what? You gonna Waves fuck. in. Fuck. <laughs> so if you want all the way in with that shit, and then the consequences come back around, and you weren't really willing to ride on that shit, now you, you played yourself. That's what I just told you about the going home situation. I've already accepted if I'm outside and somebody do something to me and it was on some pure hate, I've already accepted that. I told you that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care. I've accepted it. You got to, in life, you got to be make a choice. I'm going to accept this or I'm not going to accept this. So if I, if, if, if I stand on something that's politics and I feel strong about that, no, that is good with it. And bad with it. It's just like a nigga in the streets. I don't even consider a nigga a real street nigga if he say, yo, I'm selling drugs, I'm getting money, and then talk turn around and be mad if he go to jail. <laughs> Facts. Because that meant you was only with it for the good. Mm. You weren't with it for the bad, you know that's coming too, right? Just mm. like in basketball, I'm working this hard. I know anything can happen. I know I could get traded. I'm in a business. I know I could get waived. I know I might get benched. If you really want something, you got to know everything that comes with this shit and say, I'm willing to accept all of this shit. It's like a relationship. A nigga with a girl. You knew what she was before that. You accepted her, right? Don't just be accepting her when that sex good. <laughs> because when that's over... If they say she a freak and you got to hear that when you go outside, you got to accept that part too. Facts. Or vice versa, a girl. If you like this nigga, he got this and that, and you cool with that. What if he got two, three kids by different girls? You got to accept that part too. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? No, nah, facts. Question, I think, um, you know, I'm not going to, I got my personal opinion on things, and like I feel like when we get out of, a, coming from a place we came from, we get out of a situation like we just want to keep it that way and live our life. But when you see 
get into the politics, you see athletes get into the politics of things. You think that's only for certain type of athletes to, to deal with? For example, like we see Kyrie. He Everything wants- is politics when you get to sports, when you, when, you, when you decide to get in this game. Everything is a side of politics. To everything. That's why I said, if you believe in something, you stand on but it. Do you, that what's coming with that? Do you intentionally try to stay away from that part, though? Like, it's oh. like me being an athlete and saying I don't want to fucking sign autographs. You know that come with it. I'm not about to complain about signing autographs or taking pictures. I know that that comes with being an athlete, and I still chose to be it. Mm. Like, I try to make life simple as possible. Y'all know I decided to do this, so I'm knowing what's coming with it. The good in the bad. I'm not skipping the bad, though, because I know that's coming with it, too. Whatever you think is bad or not just bad or things you might not feel like doing. You, you don't think it's times I'm tired, I'm coming from a game or a workout, and I might be in public, and I got to sign something or take a picture. Every time I don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to do it because I said what? This is the life I fucking chose. Mm. I'm taking everything that comes with this shit. No, I feel you. I was, I was really asking, like, far as, you know, niggas that take stances, big stances, like Kyrie with the uh, vaccine. Yes, take it. I'm cool with that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Take it. But know what come with it. I'm not going to complain about what come with it after. No, thanks. Because you know there's a chance of other people saying, that's dumb. Other people saying, you shouldn't have did that. A chance of these people might not fuck with you like that, like they used to. You got to accept that. That's what I'm saying. It's no but if you believe in it, stand on it. Stand on what you... And, 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 and whatever come with it, come with it. 